News KLFY News 10 at 6. A Kaplan woman is speaking out after she learned the case of her alleged rapist was dismissed. According to sexual violence stats, there are over 200,000 victims in the United States every year and someone is sexually assaulted every two minutes in America. In fact, one Acadiana woman claims she was sexually violated. News 10's Rodrika Taylor joins us live in studio with the victim's story in a story you'll see only on 10. Melissa E says even though she is still dealing with the trauma of being a rape victim, it is not stopping her from telling her story. She hopes it helps other others come forward to who who may be experiencing the same thing. I have no problem showing who I am. I have no issue with that whatsoever. I'll put myself out there if it'll save a child. If it'll help a child, I'll do whatever I have to do because it's not right. It's not right for an adult and it's not right for a child. It's not right for a man, a woman, anybody to have to go through something like that. Melissa East says in July of 2021, she was allegedly raped by a Kaplan man. She says a trial was set for January this year. The court records showed the man was charged with second degree rape. For a victim to have to walk to that mailbox every month and open it and see that letter that says, oh, well, we're not gonna do anything this month. Let's wait another month. That's hard for a victim, especially if I have PTSD, so it's triggering every time I walk to that mailbox and open it, there's that letter. Okay, well, here's another month he's gonna walk free. Here's another month they're not gonna do anything. East says she took action and reached out. I called the DA's office and I was advised over the phone that the case had been dismissed. She says she was informed it was dismissed because the assistant district attorney on the case could not reach her. East says that was not true. The grand jury found that there was cause to up his charge from what originally was. So you had, she had everything she needed, even if she didn't have me but she did, and that's the point I'm trying to make. When you have a willing victim, why, why not prosecute it? Why not go through with it? She believes other rape victims are not getting justice within the court system and hopes by her speaking out, she can create change. If I have to put myself out there, put my story out there, open up my life, my skeletons that I may have in my closet, I'll do what I have to do to save a child, to help a child. District Attorney Don Landry sent a statement to me saying, quote, this case was dismissed, reserving our rights to refile because new information was presented to us. We are investigating that new information, end quote. He could not comment anything further. We will continue to follow this story if charges are refiled by the District Attorney. Rodrigo Taylor, KLFY News 10.